Cool. Okay. Um, so, um, hi, Shaquille. Um, the first question I wanted to know about your work is um, kind of what do you see as being the most meaningful themes in your, in your work? So I think most, most, most of my work sort of converges around intimacy and I guess what, what I try doing, what I try figuring out most in my work is sort of the way, the ways in which we engage with intimacy and sort of its different dynamics, I guess. Um, so sort of using that and then kind of working with intimacy to draw in themes of queerness and um, I guess, yeah. Yeah. I guess, I think intimacy lends itself to a lot. Um, it feels so relevant now so, as well, thinking about yeah. human interaction. Mm. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What were you going to say? I think I interrupted you. No, I think it's, it's, it is quite pertinent right now, just because, I mean, we're all, I mean, everyone's in isolation. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I feel like, intim yeah, intimacy is just very, very strange right now. It's either through, like, a computer or phone screen or... Yeah. Yeah. It's, kind of coming it's into the work <laughs> now, kind of that change of what, what intimacy means? Um, I think... <laughs> You know what? Not not that much, really. I think it's because with the what I have always kind of looked at is sort of the loneliness and trauma as well within within intimacy, um, which again I think is sort of relates to what a lot of people are going through right now. Um, so I don't really think there's a lot that sort of changed sort of yeah within within the, the current climate kind I guess. of an extension of what you were already working on in a sense mm. yeah 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 um i've seen the most of the work that i've seen from you is um print and i kind of wondered mm -hmm. do you um, perceive yourself as a printmaker and then also how did you find the medium and what attracts you to it i think I think, um, I'm not sure, I, I guess sort of my practice is kind of verging between like print and painting, I guess. Um, with, I think what, what attracted to me, to me with, what attracted me most to print was the fact was sort of the, the way you could kind of replicate images and spend sort of a really long amount of time working on a very intricate drawing and then kind of have that replicated and multiplied and find different ways of manipulating it which is something I'm still quite interested by mm. and I think even even with um, sort of something with a medium like monotype which is I mean it's essentially painting mm. but I think there's still something entirely different and very dynamic about working with working on a sheet of PVC, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, yeah, there's just a quality to it that when you put it through the press, like something quite magical happens. Mm -hmm. I think. And you're also you you kind of mentioned it, but your work is so intricate and so detailed. And I wondered what the process of making that is for you. Is it does it feel kind of meditative? Yeah, I think I think it's it's always sort of yeah a contrast of like something which is almost frustrating and kind of it it requires a lot of concentration to kind of get get specific details kind of um, quite perfect. But I think on the flip side, it's something which I can just completely lose myself in, mm. in kind of very tiny details, um, which I think they, they're a bit obsessive, but also, like you said, quite meditative as well. And, and I guess kind of rewarding after putting all that work yeah. in being so small and having it come to life once you see the actual mm. Yeah. It's, it's, 
yeah always at the beginning it's like you're kind of sitting with this very blank sheet looking back at you and so the first few things you put on there it's like she's this is gonna take me forever to you know finish up but I think by the end of it it's it is quite rewarding mm. and and so when you're starting a new work um is it kind of just like you with the the medium and the material or are you like researching looking at other images before you start yeah there's there's always a lot of kind of reference pulling and a lot of digging on the internet just for i think especially for bodies and stuff like that mm. um I'm, i always struggle a little with bodies um kind of or at least conjuring them up myself so i'll always look for kind of my references to go to go from there um and then i think similarly even with kind of the flowers and stuff like that I'll look at sort of um sort of old art books and stuff like that um where you can kind of just pull pull little details and then kind of bring in my own my own yeah sort mm. of so in that sense it's kind of um like intertextual in that way yeah yeah um Definitely. and then I wanted to ask you um is there is there kind of a medium that you've envisioned yourself trying in the future? Is there something that you're interested in, in doing that you haven't done before in terms of medium? Um, I think, I think, I, so, so sort of in the past, um, I've always, well, I've done work with fabric, which has always been mm. quite interesting, just in terms of playing with, because I think it becomes the work and the, the image becomes something different entirely once you put it onto onto fabric and the dynamic completely shifts um so i think something and i mean i've worked with the fabrics more as kind of veils and drapery i guess um but i think it would be really interesting to kind of fashion garments out of the actual fabric um because i think then you start a whole new conversation once it's on a body and kind of, yeah, there's a whole... There's I think whole I can kind of read that in your work as well because there is so much like drapery even in the drawings and even the way that you use the paper kind of feels like um, like you're making your own pattern in a way that you think about like a textile. Um, so I can imagine that kind of coming out of the painting and being an actual object or the, the print rather. Um, yeah, I, that sounds really beautiful. I think that would be really interesting. Um, and then I also wanted to ask, um, what are your, your main inspirations? Um, wh where are you kind of drawing kind of your visual references? So kind of, I guess it depends on the work. I think with, I think my, my go-to and my ultimate is always David Hockney. I'm mm. obsessed. Um, I think... <laughs> <laughs> I think just um, what I find really fascinating about his work is that there's so many kind of different um, outlets and expressions, I guess. He's got so many different ways of working, which I think he's got, he's really kind of um, more tighter sort of line drawings, but sort of the more, uh, I guess, loose, um, pool studies and pieces like that and I think which also kind of just finding that with sort of looking at dynamics of intimacy with queer men um, I've always found his work really fascinating um, yeah and I, I guess I get the other go-to is always sort of classical Indian and Islamic miniatures. Mm. I think because I think those will will always be timeless, and there's there's something quite incredible about them, just in in the obsessive detail. Um, mm. And I don't. I think the symmetry in them is as well is something quite amazing, which I don't think I can ever really replicate that kind of that kind of work but it's it's always nice to borrow the same the same kind of um i guess tropes visual tropes 
I think you so, kind of play with symmetry, but in a way that it's kind of obviously non-symmetrical in a way that's quite pleasing. Mm -hmm. Kind of like <laughs> <laughs> kind of breaking away from that symmetry and creating something that feels more organic. Um, while still kind of referencing that kind of mm. idea of what um, those patterns are supposed to look like. Um, and then I also wanted to ask you, um, I kind of borrowed this question from Hans Laura, um, but I think it's a nice one. And it's, what is your dream mm. project? If you had no expenses in mind or any of those things, what would you, what would you make? Oh my God. Um, <laughs> I think, I think something, I've I've been thinking about this a lot actually recently um, and I don't I haven't been able to put a finger on it exactly but I think something I think really really pushing the scale of of my work something to a really really crazy size um, sort of just both on kind of a print level, but also um, just taking painting to kind of a really, really vast scale and really sort of pushing, I guess, the immersive qualities, which which I think I find in, in the work. Um, and I think kind of having different interplays of both, I guess, paper-based works, but also work on fabric and, yeah, I guess, I guess things like that. That would be an interesting challenge, um, trying to like keep the intricacy and the detail, but also kind of making it more large scale and like immersive. Mm. Well, I hope I see it soon. That would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. We'll see. 